So I'm going to walk you through the process of um, installing a new air filter in my Tesla Model Y. So let's check out what we have going over here. As you can see, we have the new air filter from Amazon. I picked that up. An air conditioner, evaporator, odor eliminator, which you can buy from your local auto store or online. A trim removal tool and a T20 torque wrench. So now we're going to step through the process of each step of removing the panels in the car, finding where the um, HEPA filter or air filter is stored, popping that out, and then installing the new one and cleaning out the system. So let's go. Now the first thing to do is remove your floor mat. So I've taken my floor mat out of the passenger side of the vehicle. And there is this panel right here that you'll need to remove, which has clips in it. And if you've ever worked on anything with trim removal in a car, you'll be familiar with what's going on here. There's little clips behind it. So if you pop them out and remove the panel, then the next step is going to be removing the underside here panel and then going back up into there and getting out the um, filter out of the car. So we're going to give that a shot right now. see here how the clips look and there's one clip here which is giving me a hard time here and I'm gonna have to pop off As you can see, this clip here and here were kind of stuck. I had to pull from the inside. I didn't want to bend this too much and break the clips off. So just be careful. You can see what each clip is. So here, 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 here. So if you get each one of those areas and pull it, what I found to work was it was kind of loose on the back down here. So I got my trim tool underneath it and I got my fingers to start popping it around. And that seemed to work best. All right, the next thing we gotta do in order to make room to work, we're, there's a panel here underneath the, the glove box area. And we're going to remove that by popping out these little pieces that keep it in. So these are little clips. So I'm gonna get my trim removal tool and pry these down and pull them out. We got one here, we got one here, we got one here and here. So once we pop them down, remove them, then we'll lift this whole area out. And then when you pull it down, we're gonna be very careful because there's wires for the light and for the speaker. And we don't want to rip that out because it'll rip the wires out and ruin them. So we're gonna be careful. And when there's gonna be clips we'll, we'll deal with once we get them pulled down. So you can see this tool here worked really good for that. You can see that right there.
have that pulled down. You can see up in here there's this wire for the lighting and a wire for that speaker right there. So you can see where that wire plugged in. So this one on the speaker was a little tougher to get out. So I just make sure that you grab it by the plastic piece and not the actual wire or you'll rip the wire out. And we'll put that aside. And now we have access to this area right here where the filter is located. So I'm gonna undo this uh, hex bolt here. Um, it's a little different than the Model 3 which uses a T20 I believe. Um, and this one's a hex, quarter inch hex head, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna work on that next. There you have it. So this piece comes off, it goes like this. There's one hex head right here. I use my uh, handy dandy multi-tool uh, screwdriver electricians use from Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever you want to get it, and just flipped it around at a small side and that allowed me to undo the hex head. So just remember how this goes, don't lose your screws. Um, you can see that there's like a vast area down here which you can easily lose things um, It looks like it'd be really hard to get to so make sure you put all your screws and pieces in a safe space So don't go lost into oblivion All right, so now I've turned off my air conditioner press the power button and I want to take these out because I don't want a bunch of air getting sucked in with dirt while the filters are not in there So it's important to turn that off and if you look here, there's these tabs. So there's a little tab here. And we're gonna pull out the air filter. And that's the number one, that's the first one. And if you look here, there's a second tab because they are stacked on one another. Now I want you to pay attention to the orientation of the filter. That's the back, that's the front, that's the air intake. And then this one, comes up and gets pulled up and out and it's pretty dirty so you can see here that this is after a year and three months of usage roughly so um, they're not terrible but they're not great I did notice that some leaves came out. So there's some junk in there. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to see in there, but there. Yeah, you're not seeing much. But back there is the condenser. So this is the next step we're gonna prepare for, which is spraying the condenser cleaner over top of the whole condenser and letting it flush out and rinse and then dry off. All right, next step. Next step is to actually clean the condenser, which you don't have to do, but for me, I have a moldy smell from when I washed my car one time and a bunch of dirty water got um, put through the air intake up by the hood of the car and got nasty moldy water smell into my AC system so I'm going to use 
this evaporation evaporator odor eliminator um, so if you just look for AC evaporator foaming cleaner um, is also known as in d different brands and it comes with a tube so you should always look for a tube make sure you're not getting AC flush it's odor eliminator all right and this is biodegradable and it's designed for this tube to be stuck into a drain plug of uh, car or truck condenser units but in this case we're just going to spray it all over the top of the condenser of the vehicle and f spray it really good to try and flush out any dirt and smells and we're going to let it sit um, and run the air conditioner for about 15 minutes after we spray it in order to condense and drain some of the excess foam and um, spray that we put on top of the evaporator. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to attempt to straighten this thing out so I can actually reach it in there. So this foam smells kind of like orangey, I would say. And it's sprayed all in there. So I sprayed it up and down this way. I put the tube all the way to the back, brought it forward to the back, forward, push it down, brought it up and down, and sprayed a whole bunch of foam in there. So now at this point, we're going to turn on the air conditioner and let this run. Uh, I put it on 67 degrees. It's kind of warm out. You can see it's like 77 outside and We're gonna let this run for like 15 20 minutes and Drain some of that um, foam spray and cleaner And you can see some foam is like shooting out Under the car, but that evaporates. So it won't be a problem And this will get rid of that nasty smell that we had in our system So while that runs um, I want you to pay attention to how the filters are actually oriented in the car. You can see there's one stacked on top of the other one. So when you pull it out, you pull the first one out of the car, and then you have to pull up to get the other one out, and then you pull it out of the car. So just pay attention to that so you are aware. When we look at the new filter, we make sure that we have them oriented correctly, and you'll be able to tell that because of where the tabs are on the new filter, which will look a little different than this because these are the factory Tesla filters, and the ones I bought are like Amazon, whatever, some companies, carbon filters, HEPA filters. So we'll take a look at them next. So these are the new filters after I took them out of the box. So this is what the box looks like. And interestingly enough, it actually comes with its own trim removal tool. So you don't have to worry about going out and getting one of those. Um, you can just use the one that comes with in the box if it has one. And they're stacked like this. So if you remember, we're talking about the tabs being on the top right. 
and this one having a tab that's opposite so when you put them in we have to make sure we stack them correctly like this the tabs on the top right put one in we'll push it in and push it down and then the other one on the top and then we will resume reassembling everything and putting it together so we'll check back in so while I'm waiting I figured I'd just give a look at what condition the old filters are in and see if you can see that dirt that's in there so this is after a year and a few months of running so I'd recommend once a year at least replacing your air filter because you see it's pretty dank it's I've not the worst I've seen but it's not great and you can see this one here which is probably the culprit of our nasty smell has got leaves and junk in there so I imagine when I was using the pressure sprayer from the car wash we probably pushed a lot of gunk down into the vent system or the air intake and captured a whole bunch of disgusting junk that just holds on to the moisture and so that evaporator foam cleaner will help clear it out and get the smell going and then we'll pop these bad boys in all right so after talk to some folks from the tesla universe on clubhouse we're very helpful i highly recommend joining it um i should be opening this panel up on my under top of my front and cleaning out an air conditioning vent here so i'm just having a peek here and you can see this huge air intake here which is probably the result of some of the cleaning that i was doing with the pressure washer and why it's moldy smelling so i'm going to just run my um shop vac uh through clean up some of these leaves in here uh and then run it in underneath that area where the condenser was which i probably should have done to begin with but i'm going to suck all that stuff out just to make sure it's nice and good and then uh before reassembling the car we're going to take a closer look at this is a drain i clean that out this is probably a little drain hole right there um here that's probably just a drain and then the actual air i think is up under here up and under so we're going to see if i can easily get this apart so i can clean under it So I will just show you what I did. I took my shop vac and just ran it up underneath this thing. And there's clips here on the front that you can unclip. And up here, there's a clip that's hard to see, but it's in the back on the top back there. And let me see if I can focus. And back in there is a clip that you can kind of get to from the side. If you were to look under here, um, up in here there is where a clip is and once you unclip those two you can pull it apart and get easier access now I'm sure you can take this whole thing apart but I'm not going to do that right now um, I just want to show you how I cleaned it out with the shop vac I want to give you guys a little look at what the car is doing while it's running the air conditioner and if you were to look under the car here you can see um, when the condenser's running and evaporating, all the drainage from the condensed water is draining out the bottom down there. So all that foam and cleaner spray we put in and, and just the moisture it's pulling out of the air is just draining all that gunk out the bottom of the car. So pretty cool, almost there. Okay, now that my air conditioner is done running for about 20 minutes, it's time to put the new air filters in. Um, you can hear that. That's the carbon inside the filter. Um, I want to get some uh, carbon in it to maybe neutralize some of the smells. So, like we said before, we want to make sure that the tab is on the top right. I'm going to put it up in here. And then grab it by the tab so it doesn't get cockeyed. 
and fall down at a weird angle. And then don't let go. And then push it down, that tab stick it up. And now I will do the same with the other one. Make sure the tab is on the top right. Make sure that carbon is facing you. And Now we will start to reassembly.
and now the panel.